Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, I'm at 43 years on this planet. I've seen some stupid stuff, all right? Boneheadedly stupid stuff. But guys, I think this right here takes the cake. Look at this, guys. Influencer studies break into the Ivy League. That means, guys, you can go to an Ivy League school and get a degree in influencer studies. <laughs> guys, this is real. I'm not making this up. This is real. Guys, this is an actual thing. First, it was gender studies. It was fat studies. Now it's influencer studies. And guys, you know the majority of the people taking this are going to be women. Right? So, guys, we'll get into this. But before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment, guys. Check out my second channel, my locals, the playlist at the end. And, guys, see so universities like Cornell, Duke, Tulane, USC now have classes and clubs on personal branding. Acquiring followers and other skills for aspiring inf influencers giving a new meaning to social studies. And, guys, if you think, if anyone out there thinks that you can do anything with this stupid degree. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run amok. Clown world. You guys know how much money that it costs to go to Cornell and Duke and Tulane? You mean hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for, for this? Influencing is a serious business. The, the, the creator economy is valued, estimated $250 billion. And this figure is projected to double in the next few years. It's also become one of the most sought after occupations for young people and beyond, of course, right? Because Americans now are lazy. Especially these 304s. More than half, guys, half of Gen Z aspires to become influencers, and 54% of Americans ages 18 to 60 have stated that they would quit their jobs if they could make a living as a full-time influencer. <laughs> Guys, this is the generations raised by single moms, right? Look at that. Given the growing demand, higher education institutions are stepping in uh, excuse me, are stepping up are from high profile guest lectures like Mr. Beast sharing the workings of his business empire with the Harvard Business School to a more comprehensive approach. So universities from Penn State to Duke and UCLA to the University of Alabama are introducing courses, clubs, and entire degree programs dedicated to the art and business of content creation. Guys, what is going on? What is going on? How, guys? How? What is going on? Guys, this, these generations now, they're cooked. Guys, I'm Gen X. Guys, you millennials, like younger millennials, Gen Z, they're cooked. They're cooked. Look at that. The following programs so selected after talking to multiple educators cater to both students who want to work with creators and those who aspire to become creators. Cornell. Look at that. I've been studying digital content creation for more than a decade, but the topic has only recently become legible to a wider academic audience, says Professor Brooke Aaron Duffy. Now, guys, how much you want to bet that the majority of these professors, quote unquote, are female, right? A member of the newly launched Content Creator Scholars Network and teacher of Cornell's Platforms, Power, and Precarity in the Creator Economy. A seminar in the Communication Graduate Program. So guys, we all know that mass, mass media communications is a bullshit degree anyways. But now they're just making it seem like it, it's what? Even more important? Then they actually make you think it, think it is clown world. Group discussions to revolve around recent research and in information, science, algorithms, audience, intimacy, inequality, career risks, and labor resistance. Uh, Edward R. Morrow College of Communication at Wazoo, Pullman. So personal branding for athletes, influencers, and creators stem from Professor Kara 
Kara Hinkins Jedlicka's research on women's sport communication. Guys, what the hell is women's sports communication? What is that? I noticed that the athletes I was studying did not know how to navigate the space and could take lessons from from content creators. Offered as part of a strategic communications major. What is that? Since fall 2023, so, so the course has been full every semester. Jacksonville State University. Creators, economic topics are incorporated as subsections and assignments across the board for JSU communications majors. As part of courses such as mass communication, podcasting, entertainment, media, multimedia, design, and of course, social media strategy. Guys, let's pump the brakes. Let's pump the brakes. Guys, who in the in their right mind pays to take a a, a course in podcasting. If that's not the dumbest thing I've ever heard, guys, anyone can podcast. Get some friends together. Get a laptop, a microphone, some headsets. And guess what? You're podcasting. <laughs> guys, my channel has been relatively successful with decent growth. Because I know I taught myself all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And guys, if I can be successful doing this, guys, and this is part time for me, you know what I'm saying? Guys, come on. <laughs> guys, no one ever taught me how to do do this, guys. I have a speech impediment, right? You know what I mean? Guys, if I can be successful, guys, all you have to do is just work at it and grind and grind. You just throw stuff at the wall, you see what sticks, right? And you respond to your audience. That's all it is. Some people, they, they strike pay dirt and blow up like Mr. Beast or PewDiePie, and some people don't, guys. But there's anyone that thinks that there's a way that you can just learn how to do this and be... Guys, this is not a science. Social media is not a science. Because a science... Okay, what that means is if you show someone engineering and you verse them in engineering, it means that they can be mastered enough at that craft to make a living at it and, and, and be successful. A good engineer is going to be successful. You cannot do that with, with content creation. You just can't. That'd be like saying that you can teach people art or painting, right? Not every person's gonna be a good painter. That's just not something that you can, you can teach someone to automatically be successful at. It's ridiculous. We can't teach them to be automatically successful at anything, but you can't, a mathematician with those mastered skills, because it's a hard science, is gonna not, it's gonna be more likely to be successful than a person that you're trying to teach how to do art. It's stupid. Look at this, guys. Mississippi State, launching this fall. The Coaster Code is an online course on how to build a large social following and become a successful paid creator as taught by TV meteorologist Nick Coaster. So uh, you're going to learn how to be successful as an influencer by a weatherman? Guys. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run them up. So he's a dancing weatherman with 14 million fo followers. Guys, this guy can't teach anyone anything. What are you talking about? Penn State, Penn State has this crap? Reach Club, the summer hosts a social media content creator summer camp for high schoolers. A, a creator accelerator digital test lab is home to a chapter of the student group Reach. Look at that, man. Salem State, influencer marketing is a new elective for media and communications majors run by Professor Rebecca Haynes, of course, a micro-influencer. Guys, a micro-influencer? Micro-influencer is like that one guy who says he's a he's a beer brewer, but he has like that one small Amazon beer brewing kit in the back of his house, right? Come on, South New Hampshire University. SNHU Social Media Market Campaigns course focused on creating, promoting, and measuring content to meet marketing objectives. I've had two students that were already well-established influencers. It made for great conversations in class 
exciting and encouraging others. Guys, this is such bullshit. Texas Christian University. The social media students are presented with key concepts for audience analysis to social media listening. One assignment requires creating influencers using AI tools. Guys, look at this. Tulane, University of Alabama, UCLA. UCLA does personal branding and becoming an influencer. What? University of Central Florida. Look at all these guys. USC, UTSA. Oh no, guys. My, my alma mater. Oh no. This fall, UTSA, a BA in digital media influence, which teaches aspiring creators to strategically create, distribute content while focusing on the psychology of media. No. Guys, these knuckleheads are cooked. Because here's the thing. These these people already think that going to school and getting a degree is going to automatically make you be successful. But these people are going to gonna are gonna think, just like in the fitness industry, guys, you know how many people, people that I know personally who went to school and got a, a degree in um, sports science or, or um, what's it called, exercise science, who just automatically thought that they're going to be some big, you know, you know, fitness influencer or go to work for some huge, you know, uh, 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 sports team. It doesn't work like that. These people are going to get these degrees and automatically think that, uh, that they're going to be some Jake Paul, Logan Paul, uh, uh, PewDiePie. Insane. And guys, I'm going to do a follow-up video because guys, look. They make bachelors in esports. Guys, look at that. Look at that. A bachelor's degree in esports. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Guys, just don't even send your kids to college anymore. Unless it's science, technology, engineering, math, accounting. Right? Come on, guys. So, all right, you guys. It's AJ. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys. Like, s subscribe. I'm out of here, guys.